a sign of hope for battling a devastating disease in tonight's Health Watch. There are more than 100,000 Minnesotans living with Alzheimer's, a number that's expected to triple over the next 20 years. Tonight, news of a potential breakthrough drug. WCCO's Alan Henry spoke with doctors about the impact of the drug, and he spoke to a woman who wants to be one of the first to take it. I can actually say for the first time in 11 years that I've been here, we have a treatment for Alzheimer's disease. The excitement around the Alzheimer's Association could be felt today as they celebrated the results of the new drug, Lecanemab. The companies behind the drug released data Tuesday night, which showed the drug slowed the progression of Alzheimer's in patients by 27%. This is the first really well-designed, fully executed study that showed that, in fact, they could slow the rate of progression of the disease process. I didn't know if this was going to come in my lifetime. The news is being welcomed by people like Canada Yazbek, who eight years ago was diagnosed with mild cognitive impairment. With my diagnosis, I'm the seventh person in my family to have been diagnosed with a Alzheimer's or related dementia. It's so ugly. It's so ugly until you until you live it, you don't know how bad it is. If the FDA gives the green light, lecanemab would be just the second and most promising Alzheimer's drug approved in 20 years. I actually shed some tears last night um, to have worked so long and so hard with so many families who are so passionate about making a difference and to be able to say there is hope and we are making a change and we are making a difference. That was really powerful for me giving advocates and patients something they haven't had in a long time. I woke up yesterday morning with something that's 100% fatal. And I went to bed last night with hope. Alan Henry, WCCO, 4 News. The FDA is expected to vote on approval sometime in early January. If approved, the drug would be widely available by the end of next year.